Greetings from a very wet Akita at Tazawa-ko, or Lake Tazawa, in Akita Prefecture, the Semboku city up here in Tohoku. That is the lake beyond that, those raindrops there. How you doing, everybody? Just for a second. So I'm here at a pretty unique uh, place right off of the lake. They have um, craft beer, and she's actually pouring it now. We don't want to miss this. Whoa. So this is all locally made craft beer. One of those is for yours truly, and I'm gonna give it a try. And I'm gonna take you around this really interesting countryside, Japanese countryside craft beer lodge. And you can take a look and see at what it's like to be here. And I know a lot of people are, are locked down or can't travel at this time. Well, guess what? You're joining me here in Japan for some brews. So sit back and relax for about 15, 20 minutes. And we'll get some food here too. Should be a lot of fun. Oh man, is that mine? I want the big one. Mr. Das would be proud. Oh. Those are big mugs. Oh, IPA? Peter's not. A lager. Okay. Ah, this is a lager. Oh. Nice golden color. Ah, oh, that's a special beer. Special means good. <laughs> hey, Eugene Holbert's here. How you doing? Wow, I wonder how many liters she can carry. Oktoberfest in Munich. That one is mine. Ah, uh, Kampai. <laughs> Kampai. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, you're famous. <laughs> so, Kampai, everybody. So I'm, I'm here in Akita to, to take a tour in the Semboku city region. Uh, I just got up at uh, Tazawako Station, which is a Shinkansen stop. Um, you know, the green and the red train, the Tohoku Shinkansen. That train is so unique. Uh, it's, it's green on one side and it's red on the other side. And it parts at Morioka Station. Um, half of it going up to Aomori, the other half going towards Akita. And uh, it, it's just, it's like the two trains kissing. So if you take a look at the Instagram story, you'll see the two trains linked together. And I, one of these days I'll get them separating at Morioka Station. But this is uh, Tazawako, Tazawako uh, Craft Beer. And uh, it's just kind of neat to take you on a little bit of a tour outside of Tokyo to the countryside. Now, I was expecting a little bit better weather, but I'll tell you this, for the next uh, 36 hours, I'm going to be here in Akita and bringing you some pretty amazing stories, um, including onsen and autumn foliage, rain permitting, and some really amazing food here in this region. Um, I, I know that in the autumn, this area is so popular. Check it out here. This area, you can see one tree. <laughs> I might take you outside just so you can get a look. Uh, around around this uh, around the lake just for a second, but let me take you around the brewery and uh, I might take this with me. All right, follow the beer. Just take it, Just follow the beer here. Just just bear with me. 
Um, this lodge, this restaurant is quite large. I was pretty surprised when we came in here um, how wide it is. Look at this. Lots of people in here. Um, and I'm just always reminded that out here in the countryside, we have so much more space compared to Tokyo. It's meant to show off the lake that's right in front of you there. So I brought my beer with me. Um, I wanted to show you some of the offerings that they have here and then take you outside. I'll have to leave the beer behind, I have a feeling. Check out this refrigerator. Um, and of course you see Hachiko. Hachiko is originally from Akita. It's an Akita Inu or an Akita dog breed. And yes, here he has his own beer. <laughs> he has, Hachiko has a beer. You better believe I'm bringing this back. Now Kanai doesn't drink alcohol, uh, but I'll bring one back for Kanai's dad maybe. That's hilarious. It's gotta be really good. Um, you know what, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna buy one and then maybe we'll try it tonight in the hotel room and we'll do some kind of a live stream. This character here on these beer bottles is uh, Amabie, I believe. It says here, Amabie. And I don't know if that's a beer name or the name of the character, but uh, in Japan, it's, it's a character that's not drawn, a folklore character to uh, get rid of the coronavirus. So you'll see this in a lot of places, but you can see uh, that bird has its own beer. And then some local brews here. This uh, uh, Namahage, beer looks pretty interesting, right? Whenever you see a character, don't judge a beer by its label, but I'm going to, because it just looks really cool. And then we have some other really interesting brews here. Um, this is a reason to travel now, and more and more. This is actually right here, this, this one beer I'm drinking right now. It has a, a fruity, hoppy taste to it. And then you can buy even the water down here, because the Akita Prefecture water is really good. And they have a store where you can get some, buy, buy some brews and of course some sausages in that refrigerator right there. Wow. All right, I'm gonna leave my beer here. Don't, it's gonna be, it's kind of weird to have a beer sitting here, just stay there. And I'm gonna take you outside for a second. Hey, WX Turbo's here. How you doing? Eugene, for the snacks. Chan, did they make some Hachikos swim through beer to give the dog taste? That'd be pretty cool if they did. Boy, it's raining pretty hard out here. You can see the autumn colors all around and we drove here from Tazawa, uh, Tazawako Station and it was just absolutely beautiful. Now the rain, the window was all wet, but look at the view. Look, the, the guys are all freaking out. Like, what are you doing outside? That's what it looks like on the other side of the window. <laughs> all right, check it out here. The name of the restaurant is Orai. So you can find this on Google Maps. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. It's kind of neat. Uh, Fungus United States Supreme Court is here. A little early for the beer. Shh, I know. Don't tell Kanai. Here is uh, Lake Tazawako right here with this beautiful tree that has just turned colors. And uh, I got to come back for the food here. But I just walked through that puddle. We can do some nature hiking. I hope no one takes my beer. Ah, my shoes are all wet. Someone's gonna take my beer. Whoa, manhole! Hola! It's a nice manhole cover. Yes, you're joining us. Look at how nice this place is. I remember when we were driving up here, I'm like, what? This is too nice. This is so countryside. Now, I don't know how I get down here. Oh, there's some stairways, okay. I want to take you to the lake just really quickly and we're going to come back in because I ordered a lot of food and I don't want that to get cold. Oh. Okay. Whoa! That's what I'm talking about. This is Lake Tazawako and there's a beach here. It is not the best day to be out here, and there's nobody here. 
But I can tell you this, feels good. Not afraid to get a little wet. The gimbal on the other hand is afraid to get a little wet. <laughs> Just be happy it's it's me out here. I don't think that the weather's gonna get any better, do you? I don't think the weather looks like it's gonna get any better. Oh, next time I wanna, look at this nature hike. I can walk around the entire uh, lake, looks like. I'm not gonna skinny dip, who wrote that? Daniel, Daniel. Skinny dipping. It's like freaking cold out here. All right, wait for the cars. Safety first. Let's go get 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 my beer. I hope that I hope the waitress lady didn't steal my beer. Can we just take the nature hike road? It's much more fun when it's raining, I guess. Now there was no, my, my 4G signal had, had no dem, ah, ah, whoa, no, oh, I'm gonna have to change my socks. Oh, oh, I can't get up this hill. Oh, 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 beast mode, all right. Beast mode. Nature. It smells like nature. Those old, those ladies are looking at me. They're like, what is that guy doing? <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. All right, city boy. Hey, I am totally becoming less city and more rural. I've been traveling a lot. All right, we're back. Oh, it's still here. Can we get some alcohol? Alcohol for my alcohol. Okay, follow the beer back to the table. Oh, she, face shield lady brought our food. Ah, sausage kita. Oh, tazawako ne. Kire desu ne. Kire desu ne. They were watching the show. Hold on, let me get, this just looks a little wet here. Hold on. You guys feeling okay? You look a little wet in there. Ah, we're back. Whoa, beer food. Beer food. What's this sausage? What's this sausage? Gyosha Niniku. Wow. Some sort of. Wow. Buddha Janai. Ah. And then we have some uh, tofu. It's not cheese. Cheese Janai. Tofu this ne. Hold on a second, there's water in the mic. 
全部秋田さんだそうですはいお願いしますはい、ちょっと水を入れてみてください。どうですかどうですかどうですかどうですかどうですかごぼう。And、uh, the guy's got other dishes. You have curry rice here, a Japanese staple. It's so good. And. What is this? Hamburg. This is a hamburg. Ooh. With demi glace sauce and Akita vegetables. Nice. And same hamburg. And. Oh, is that katsukare? Ine, katsukare daiski. Whoa. Oishiso. Yeah, katsukare is one of my favorites here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just hanging out with the boys today. No, no ladies to show. Just say nice. Just, just the server. Just hanging out with the boys here.、Um, so let's try this. Let's try some of this beer food here and see how it, how it goes.、Um, I'm gonna put this here. Dozo, dozo. Dig in. Yeah, dig in. So for this tour, it was really interesting.、Um, for 14 days before I decided to come on this. Uh, I had to take my temperature and report that、um, before I can get in. And they took my temperature as well,、um, as well as、uh, all these safety precautions. So I, Japan has opened up to the GoTo travel campaign. So a lot of people are traveling around. Japan East, JR East, has a welcome, pa- welcome rail pass that's opened up for,、uh, non, um, for non,、uh, non Japanese passport residents that are living here in Japan. So you get a chance to travel. By Shinkansen, all over the place for a very affordable price, like 12,000 yen for three days of unlimited travel up to Tohoku, including Aomori, Iwate, Miyagi, Fukushima, Yamagata, Akita. It's, it's pretty amazing that you can travel around at, at such an affordable cost. I think a little bit of Niigata up to、uh, Echiko Yuzawa.、Uh, let's get to it, you know. John the Beer. Mmm. All right, let's try to start off with one of these sausages here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it up for you and then show you. It looks like it's. It's,、uh, <laughs> it's got some kind of seasoning inside of it, but it looks like it's pork. It's gonna go really good with the, with the beer, I think. Mm. Salty. It's got some good seasoning to it. But the consistency of the sausage is very good. So, just pepper. Negi j i n a y o n e Nandaro. Ah! It's garlic, the,、um, green, the green top of the garlic that usually they cut up. They, they put the green garlic inside of the sausage, and there's an amazing consistency, including the, the snappiness of the outside of the sausage. Now, this has been boiled. The sausage is not、uh, barbecued, but boiled, which,、uh, which is also another way to pair it. Mostly in,、uh, Germ- in Germany, we boil the sausages. I say we because I'm 25% German. 
Oh, I'm shifting cushion. That's the that's what's inside of the sausage. Interesting. It's got a really good flavor. This is the akita, this ne. It's grown here in akita. The great thing about traveling outside of Tokyo is that you you get to eat um, regionally specific cuisine, meaning um, the pork, the the live the meats here are from this region. The vegetables are all grown in this region. It's kind of neat, and it's a good reason to leave leave the city. Have some beers. No, I'm really really curious about this here. Let's dig into this. Hey, John Kimura is here. How you doing, John? Persnickety, enjoy your beer. You got it. I think I, I might need a something stronger than a butter knife, but maybe this meat is that tender. Try a little bit of that gobo, the burdock root on here. Let's try to shred it on here. Okay, that's really good. So you got a pretty good bite size. little bit of miso in there the miso um, again very famous outside of, of Tokyo you, you eat miso in rural areas looks like homemade miso in there and it's got that um, I don't know, there's a miso element to the pork with an, something else in the sauce and the gobo gives it like the meat we all know what meat tastes like it, it's a it's and that was a fatty piece of it but the miso sauce really comes together with that gobo on top of it. it gives it a, a more of like a washoka like a japanese food type of taste to the pork it's not like your your grandmother's pork chop in the united states this is this is japanese you can you can tell i don't think it's wild boar although we do have that in uh in japan wild boar let's try one more piece of this uh pork and see if i can get some of this miso on here Some of the mushrooms. Nice. Oh, I lost it here. Whoa. Now have a bite of the Akita Komachi rice. That's how you do it. When I eat rice, I like to put a big mouthful in my mouth, put it to take a big chunk of it and put it in my mouth of rice. Then I'll take miso soup or whatever soup is available and add that flavor into the rice. Now, that was a really good comment here. Jonathan Chunk writes in here, fork. When you come to a restaurant that's serving non-Japanese cuisine or wants to give a vibe that it's not Japanese, they'll give you fork, knives, and spoons. When the rice is served on a plate like this, and it's not in a traditional Japanese um, rice bowl, you can pretty much you're pretty much going to be having a, a fork and a knife. And you could ask for chopsticks too if you want it. Um, and they're not giving me the the um, fork and the knife because of I'm a, I'm a Westerner, right? Are they? I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good with chopsticks, actually. But I, you know, depending on the place, you have to kind of go with it. I remember when I first came to Japan 23 years ago, and they gave me curry rice, and uh, they gave me a spoon, and I said, I want a chopsticks. 
don't give me a spoon because I'm, I'm not Japanese. And then I got the chopsticks and I found that, you know what? It's easier to eat the curry rice with a spoon. And I looked around the restaurant and everybody had a spoon. So <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you have to look around you and read the air. You know what I mean? Ah, last but not least, I want to try some of this tofu. This looks really, really good. Check it out. Again, when you get out of the city, the tofu is usually homemade, meaning <laughs> this looks very, very soft. So we're gonna give this a try quickly. There's a couple of beans on here. Oh, wow. A lot of people say that tofu doesn't have any taste. I, I think that that's not exactly true. If the tofu is made fresh, and I've had it made fresh, it, it takes the taste of the beans a little bit. There's kind of a greenness to it. There's a, there's a vegetable taste to tofu. But tofu for cooking, when it's like a harder and rubberized, it'll take the, the taste of the sauce around it. But when you get soft tofu, Usually it still retains some of the essence of the soybeans that were used to make it And that's a mark of really good tofu. It means that you can eat it raw and you still get some flavor from that you feel Pretty satisfied with just a piece of tofu and if you have never had really good fresh tofu then uh, you're missing out because I mean I, I It's e very easy to, to uh, say that tofu is not uh, I don't know not an exciting food because it's just a piece of soft white Taste looking stuff, but actually really good tofu does have really good taste to it. So there's some beer food for you. Um, I'm gonna be taking, I'll try to get some of the beer and, and uh, tonight I'm, be, I'm gonna be staying at, what does he do in Ah, so I'll be staying at Tsuru no Yu, which is an incredible, I don't even know if there's a signal there. Probably. <laughs> if there is, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some of the some of the beers from here, and you can track me back, and uh, I'll, maybe we'll try that Hachiko one in the room or something, uh, and do a little powwow. But I want to show you what Tsuru no Yu is one of the most famous onsen in Japan. It's a white bath onsen um, where uh, the the minerals coming straight from the ground into this bath. Really, really old and traditional place, and I haven't been there in 20 years. So it's the first time since uh, 2002, I think, was the last time I was there. So I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to this and I'm going to take you with me. I know a lot of you can't travel at this time. I kind of can, so be prepared for some more adventures for the next uh, 36 hours. Akita Prefecture, Semboku City. See you in the next live stream. Enjoy the last 10 seconds of uh, this sausage. Looks pretty good, huh? Indolent autodidact. Thank you. <laughs> Did I get that right? I'm trying really hard. I'm trying really hard. Jeff Ang's here. Cobra Bebop, thank you. G-Man, Threefold. Raymond Centeno. I think there's water in the mic. I think I got it out. I think so. Ami87. Always good to see Fungus uh, USMC. Chan. Jennifer. Eugene. WX Turbo. Ah, Bob Joe is here. Kampai. King Wong. Luis. Michael Sasano. Bob Joe. Thanks everybody.